हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सब्जेक्ट एनवायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री सी एच फाइव वन वन सेक्शन सेकेंड सो इन दिस एनवायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री टोटल फोर चैप्टर्स आर देयर आउट ऑफ दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर नंबर वन कंसेप्ट एंड स्कोप ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री सो इन कंसेप्ट एंड स्कोप ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री सम सब टॉपिक्स आर देयर इंट्रोडक्शन इन्वायरमेंटल पोल्यूशन एंड डिसक्लासीफिकेशन यूनिट्स ऑफ कंसेंट्रेशन सेगमेंट्स ऑफ एनवायरमेंट बायोजियोकेमिकल साइकल्स ऑफ कार्बन नाइट्रोजन फॉस्परस सल्फर एंड ऑक्सीजन सिस्टम ओके सो लेट अस सी द इंट्रोडक्शन सो इन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री वेरी फर्स्टली द डेफिनेशन इज गिवन सो व्हाट इज मीन बाय एनवायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री एनवायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री इज नथिंग बट अ साइंस ऑफ केमिकल फेनोमेना अकरिंग इन दी एनवायरमेंट so whatever chemical phenomena is occurring in the environment it is environmental chemistry again it is nothing but a systematic study of spe- chemical species which are present in air water and soil with reference to their sources reactions transport and their ultimate fate in the environment means sources means from which they are originating their origin reaction means they are having some reaction with the environment what are that reaction transport which medium through which medium they are transporting from organism to organism or from the environment from the soil water and air it is there then ultimate fate is nothing but how to destroy that microorganism or how that microorganism is getting destroyed that is come under the fate so from origin to destroy means from sources to the fate we are going to discuss here again environmental chemistry is not only related to chemistry it is related to all the disciplines like chemistry is there physics is there biology is there ecology geology geography all the disciplines are also having interaction with the environmental chemistry and it is affecting all these factors also so the term environment is originated from the french term environner meaning it means to surround okay okay means environment means to surround again environmental chemistry is a part of environmental science providing chemical perspective of environment so whatever chemical perspective it is there for environmental science it is come under environmental chemistry basic knowledge of scientific discipline include physics biology geology sorry geography geology statistics is required to understand principles of environmental chemistry so to understand the knowledge or to understand environmental chemistry we need the basic knowledge of every discipline it may be biology physics geography geology or statistics okay so then after some terminologies are there that we are going to discuss and it, they are necessary and important terminologies for understanding of environmental chemistry okay so so very firstly the basic and the first terminology is pollutant so pollutant is nothing but anything in the environment living or non living or any physical agent that is found above certain level it is injurious to human okay so whatever the uh, species is there or anything in the environment is there either it is living or either it is non living or maybe a physical agent physical agent such as noise heat temperature okay pressure so they are found above a certain level above certain level then they are injurious for the human plant and animals for the living system they are injurious so it is called as pollutant again Uh, some example is there carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide suppose carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide they are in less quantity or in limit then they are not injurious to human or plant or animals but when the limit of this carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide is increasing or is exceeding the level then they are injurious for the human again so2 is there sulfur dioxide uh, h2 is there then pb is their lead lead is there all natural substances they are present in environment but in the certain amount only they are not exceeding the limit when they but when they are going to exceed the limit they can be or they are hazardous for the human life again 
the next terminology is contaminant so what is mean by contaminant so contaminant is nothing but a material which does not occur in nature but it is introduced by human activity into the environment affecting its composition it is called as contaminant so it is nothing but it is not naturally present in the environment but it is introduced by the humans means humans are only uh, the objects which are giving rise to the contaminant by the human activity they are introducing the environment and they are affecting their composition means suppose they are present in less quantity firstly then after human activity the their composition is going to increase or their quantity in the environment is going to increase so and they are having they may have or may not have the adverse effect okay so example we are going to discuss is chlorine gas cl2 and mic mic is nothing but methyl isocyanate methyl isocyanate this is the gas which is leaked in bhopal disaster okay so due to mic gas which is leaked in uh, union carbide factory in bhopal in 1984 there hundreds of people have were died and lots of people thousands of people are get affected in that accident because of mic that is methyl isocyanate then cl2 gas cl2 gas is also leaked in uh, derail tank in florida in 1978 okay then after the third term is source source is the place or substance or process from where the pollutant is originating okay means from where the pollutant is originating it is called as source for example gasoline okay combustion of leader gasoline means leader gasoline is the source and pollutant which is originating it is lead lead is originating in the environment due to leaded gasoline then after the next terminology is their receptor so receptor is anything that is affected adversely by the pollutant so firstly very firstly very uh, important example is human so we are the receptor for photochemical smog which causes irritation of eyes and respiratory tract so we are the receptor then next is uh, fishes 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 are the receptor for dialdrin uh, then plant plant are the receptor for oxides of sulfur okay as they die on the excess of exposure because of when they are uh, come in contact with oxides of sulfur that is sulfur dioxide sulfur trioxide the photosynthesis process is stopped at that time and the plant is going to die therefore they are hazardous for the plant and here plant are the receptor sink next term is sink the fifth one is sink the medium that retains interaction or interact with the long lived chemical species of a pollutant it is called as sink so example is marble act as a sink for atmospheric h2so4 and get damaged ultimately as a result of the following reaction is given here so the reaction is calcium carbonate is there calcium carbonate is nothing but the marble okay marble it is called as calcium carbonate and calcium carbonate when it is act as sink for h2so4 for h2so4 then it is having reaction with the calcium carbonate and it is forming calcium sulfate plus water and plus carbon dioxide gas again next example is ocean ocean is also acts as a sink for atmospheric co2 that is ocean means having water so water plus co2 it's giving rise to hco3 minus bicarbonate and carbonate then see next term is pathway of pollutant pathway of pollutant so in this pathway of pollutant the mechanism by which pollutant is distributed from its source into various segment of environment it is called as pathway of pollutant so one pathway is given you can easily see what which pathway is there firstly pbc2h54 it is leaded gasoline it is acting as a source we have seen earlier then after automobile exhaust it is released into the air in the form of pbcl2 pbbr2 pbclbr okay then after it is settling down in the soil again they are form in the uh, they are found in the same form and they are after when they are in the soil they are absorbed by the plant and then when absorption by the plant is done uh, 
they are going toward the plant to food crops and food chains okay again uh, next term we are going to see it is speciation so speciation it is nothing but speciation it is nothing but chemical form of pollutant or the process of identification of chemical form that is species of pollutant element in the environment it's called as speciation it is called as speciation so pollutants basically are known by the the key element in them like uh, lead lead pollution is there so key element is lead right mercury pollution is there so key element is mercury so like this wise it is called as key element or the speciation next term is dissolved oxygen so what is mean by dissolved oxygen dissolved oxygen is nothing but it is the amount of oxygen which is present in or dissolved state in the water sample do that dissolved oxygen is amount of oxygen present in dissolved state in water sample so do level is expressed in mg of oxygen mg of milligrams of o2 per liter okay that is ppm unit parts per million unit and on example we are going to observe it is the uh, dissolved oxygen level of unpolluted water is 4 to 6 ppm and uh, for aerated water it is 7 ppm so dissolved oxygen value is an important parameter of water quality dissolved oxygen is essential for healthy aquatic life when the dissolved oxygen level of 4 to 6 ppm is optimum value for good quality water and ensures healthy aquatic life in the water body so do is very important term then after we are going to observe next term it is co d that is chemical oxygen demand so in chemical oxygen demand we are going to see uh, that what is mean by cod so cod is nothing but amount of chemically available oxygen required for complete oxidation of om in polluted water sample so om is nothing but organic matter organic matter in polluted water sample so whatever the amount of oxygen is required for the complete oxidation of organic matter in the polluted water it is called chemical oxygen demand that oxygen is demand chemically by the polluted water sample so uh, again uh, how cod is determined so it is determined by carrying out a chemical oxidation of water sample oxidation is done with the help of k2cr2 7 in 50% of h2so4 again it is expressed in ppm of o2 part per million of o2 uh, then after as per a standard drinking water is having cod chemical oxygen demand is less than equal to 4 ppm then after next term is bod so bod is nothing but value of value is the amount of oxygen consumed in biodegradation of organic matter in water during period of 5 days so in the 5 days period whatever organic matter is there present in water for that biodegradation the amount of oxygen is required and that amount of oxygen required it is come under biochemical oxygen demand ne again it is expressed in ppm of o2 and higher the bod value more polluted is the water for domestic uh, water it is 165 ppm bod value and for treated domestic water it is only 25 ppm again the next is tlv tlv is nothing but threshold limit value threshold limit value it is indicating permissible level of toxic pollutant in the atmosphere okay to which a healthy worker can be exposed for the 8 hours so tlv for be that is barium it is very limit is 0.002 mg per meter cube for zinc it is 1.000 mg per meter cube okay for no2 it is 5 ppm then residence time it is the next term we are going to see what is mean by residence time it is time for which a chemical species stays in the region of environment without undergoing any change in its chemical form it is called residence time of that species for example residence time of n2o in troposphere is 10 years while no2 is 3 days okay again uh, cfcl3 and dichlorodifluorocarbon 
they are having their time is first one is having greater than 10 years and second is having greater than 30 years respectively so in today's lecture we have discussed definition and terminologies associated with environmental chemistry so here we will stop and we are going to discuss remaining in our next lecture thank you